know, we, we realize that the uh, Super Bowl party is going on, but I want to let you know that, that to us, that is a, a soul winning event. Okay? And uh, you're going to find out, I, I, I don't know who, who's winning and I don't care. Because I'll, I'll find out when I get home and, and it'll be a done deal. And I'll watch the game, you know, in post, uh, post season. Hallelujah. So I'm, I'm glad to be here tonight. How about you? Amen. Glory to God. God is now we've been doing this for many, many years. Hallelujah. And, uh, you know, what, what uh, we're doing is raising up a generation of young people that know how to honor God even in things like uh, a, a season like this. Amen. Glory to God. Okay, so one of the things that we said that we were going to do tonight, uh, we're going to uh, open the floor up for just a few minutes for some testimonies of people that have uh, what we're going to call healing testimonies. Praise the Lord. So uh, if, if you would like to share one, uh, just go ahead and shoot your hand up in the air if you would do that, okay? I believe, uh, yeah, my wife, I think, might have gotten, uh, had a conversation with you. Please introduce yourself. So, uh, personally, it is very important for me to be accurate in, and truthful in my testimony. And also, I'm, because of my academic background, I'm a believer in medically verifiable testimonies. So, uh, medically verifiable healings. <clears throat> so, February 7th, um, at 8 o'clock, there was a heavy and unusual anointing on Pastor Randy. And he did something unusual. He had us fill out these cards, and he said, it has to be something personal. And a single, uh, single issue. And I wrote on my card the healing of my retina. Post cataract surgery, I had a very serious condition uh, with damage to my retina. And um, I was referred to Retinal Institute of Virginia. And because of the complication that was involved, they referred me to Dr. Khan who is the ultimate authority on this condition in the state of Virginia. And uh, everything looked like a retinal surgery, which is a very dangerous and a very, very serious uh, surgical procedure because it, it involves having to go behind the eye. And um, I wrote on my card, uh, retinal healing of my retina, and um, doc, that's what Dr. Khan told me that I was a candidate for this. Uh, came and Pastor Randy put his hand on me and I, I didn't fall down, but I sensed a sound of a, sort of electricity going through me. Um, went back to Dr. Khan and just thank God for my healing. Went back to Dr. Khan. He examined me and he said, I, there has been a, a remarkable improvement in your, the condition of your retina, you are not anymore a candidate for this surgery. And I just thank the Lord. This ministry has caused me, motivated me, to pursue a greater intimacy with Jesus than I have ever experienced before. Hallelujah. God is good. Isn't that wonderful? Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So this was, uh, I'm Jason. Um, we have an 18-month-old son, and uh, he's perfect. He's wonderful. <laughs> and so at his six-month appointment, we got a really interesting report at the pediatrician and they were concerned about the size of his head and like the soft spot they believed that it was closing up too quickly so that's not a good thing because his, his brain development and all of that so uh not too long after that we did a healing service i, I don't remember which service it was but pastor laid hands on him and all that so six months later at his one year appointment we were we had been praying 
believing God, you know, confessing scriptures, praying over him, and uh, just declaring that he had a perfect, healthy, whole head. When we use the word of God, too, we stood on Proverbs 10, 6, blessings are on the head of the righteous. So we kept just <laughs> declaring that over his head. And so uh, at his one-year appointment, they were like, ooh, this is, this is really not good. We need to send him to have an MRI done. So we went to the children's hospital. This was like our third or fourth trip to the children's hospital. And um, they took all the images, et cetera, et cetera. When we went up to see the nurse practitioner, she was in disbelief because his head was the perfect size and the soft spot was exactly as it needed to be just from one week when they gave us that diagnosis. With, this had been six months that we were dealing with that diagnosis, but from when it got really serious, one week went by and it was completely normal. So God is a healer. Hallelujah. God is good. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Okay, so in the absence of any other testimonies, now we, we might just open the floor back up again after, I'm gonna do a brief teaching on healing and then we're going to lay hands on everybody in the room that would like to have hands laid on them. Okay, so this is called the tangible anointing. Okay, and I'm going to ask you if you would uh, go with me to the Gospel of Mark chapter 5. I'm going to begin reading to you about verse 21 in uh, Mark chapter 5. Thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you and we bless you. We give you glory. Thank you, Father, that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So tonight, Father, as your word goes forth to your people, faith will be generated. Yeah, and uh, thank you, Father. We're going to act on that faith generated tonight in the name of Jesus. And, and Father, we know that you will do great and marvelous things here tonight. So we bless you, we give you glory. Father, I ask you in the name of Jesus that this faith word would enter into the hearts of every person, first of all, that is present in this room, and then every person that will join us online at whatever time they may be involved in the name of Jesus, wherever they may be in various parts of the world, various parts of the country, in the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Father, for accomplishing great and mighty things here tonight. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your mercy, your kindness. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for taking the extra effort necessary to make sure that faith is born in the hearts of your people. We bless you. We give you glory. Father, I also ask you for utterance by your spirit that I might speak accurately and clearly those things that you desire into the hearts and minds of your people. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. amen. Glory to God. Okay, I, I tell you what, uh, I, I feel like the Holy Ghost just told me we need to stand to our feet again, just kind of freshen up the environment. Hallelujah. Yeah, look, look around and, and uh, yeah, love on it. Yeah, clap your hands. Yeah, exercise some joy. Hallelujah. Love and bless on a couple of folks close to you and then have a seat. Hallelujah. God is good. Okay, Mark chapter 5, verse 21. Uh, in your Bible, you will see that Jesus had just completed uh, going to the region of Gadara and casting the devil out 
of the Gadarean demoniac. And so as soon as he arrived back on the shores uh, there in front of Capernaum, he was met with, with a couple of situations that we want to look at here tonight. Verse 21, it says, And when Jesus was passed over again by ship unto the other side, much people gathered unto him, and he was nigh unto the sea, close to the water. Behold, there came one of the rulers of the synagogue, Jairus by name, and when he saw him, he fell at his feet. Now, you, you could tell that Jesus was not trying to get people to adulate him for the power that was in manifestation because he, you know, just like the, the previous event, he had told the Gadarean demoniac, you know, look, you know, we're not trying to make a scene here. So why don't you just stay uh, where you are and go and tell other people about what God has done for you. Okay, uh, verse 23 and besought him greatly, he fell at his feet and besought him greatly, saying, My little daughter lies at the point of death. I pray thee, come and lay hands on her that she may be healed and she shall live. Jesus uh, went with him. Now, now that, you know, Jesus just immediately started going with Jairus to his house. Uh, much people followed them and thronged him. Certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years and had suffered many things of many physicians and had spent all that she had and was nothing bettered but rather grew worse when she heard of Jesus. Now remember, faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. So she heard about Jesus. She came in the press behind and uh, wow, you know, uh, you might not be familiar with this, but she was actually breaking the law, so to speak by coming out in public and uh, doing what she did because she had a, 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 an issue of blood and, and she was risking her own life by doing that. Amen. For she said, uh, well, I'm going to back up to verse 27. When she had heard about Jesus, faith came. Uh, she came in the press behind and touched his garment. For she said, if I may touch but his clothes... I shall be whole. So all I've got to do is grab the, uh, and she talked about the hem of his garment. All I've got to do is, is grab the hem of his garment and I'll be made completely whole. Now that was the statement that she made having heard about Jesus. And then she said, all I've got to do is touch his clothes and I shall be whole. Straightway the fountain of her blood was dried up. She felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. Jesus, immediately knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him, we'll come back to that word virtue, uh, turned him about in the press and said, who touched my clothes? Now, you know, when we talk about a tangible anointing, Jesus was anointed to accomplish great things. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth, this is Acts 10, 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good, healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. So that an anointing is from God. Now, it's the same word that Jesus used in the book of Acts chapter 1, verse 8. He said, and you shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. He was talking about the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Quiet in this Christian house. You shall receive power. Turns out that that word power is the same Greek word as this word virtue that you, that you find. So Jesus, it was discernible to Jesus when the power went out of him. That, that's the point. It's, it's a tangible thing. You can uh, discern it. You can tell it's there. You can also tell when it's not there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, his disciples turned to him and said, uh, you see the multitude thronging you? Uh, how can you say who touched me? He looked round about to see her who had done this thing. But the woman fearing, now remember she was in fear because technically she had broken the law. And she was probably thinking, oh, well, Jesus, you know, he, he could do something here. Have me arrested or take retribution against me or, or whatever. Uh, 
And so his disciples said to him, you see the multitude thronging you. And you said, who touched me? And he looked round about to see her that had done this thing. The woman fearing and trembling, knowing what was done in her, came and fell down before him and told him all the truth. So she told her testimony, very similar to what we just heard uh, a moment ago. Uh, he said unto her, daughter, your faith has made you whole. Now, so faith is the agent that brings us in contact with the tangible power of God. And the ta tangible power of God affects a perfect cure in a person's body. Hallelujah. Now, you know, we're going to do this here tonight. And, and what we're going to do is we're also going to say that you know, it, it, uh, we're going to believe God for a complete turnaround in each person's life. Hallelujah. And there, it's going to go back the other direction. Instead of getting worse, it's going to turn around and go back and get better. Now, that, that's vital for people. See, when, when they heard about Jesus, when she heard about Jesus, she heard this testimony about what was happening with him. Okay. Uh, and she believed it, came in and grabbed a hold of the hem of his garment. Hallelujah. And, and this is not to say that there won't be people who will not be uh, completely and totally healed tonight. But, you know, we're, we're uh, using our faith to help you to see that a turnaround is, is important and vital. Okay. So, uh, daughter, your faith has made you whole. Go in peace and be whole of that plague. While he yet spake, uh, there came from the ruler of the synagogue's house certain which said, Your daughter is dead. Why trouble you the master any further? Soon as Jesus heard the word that was spoken, he said unto the ruler of the synagogue, Be not afraid, only believe. Now, so Jairus was standing in faith from the moment he made that statement of Jesus, come to my house and she will live. That was faith. Jesus was on his way to his house. The, uh, you could say it was like an interruption. Although Jesus was there for that purpose. You know, he was merciful. So he, he uh, you know, de detected, he stopped in the crowd and, and said, you know, well, virtue has gone out of me. Something has happened. Who touched my clothes? Hallelujah. Verse 36, as soon as Jesus heard the word that was spoken, he said, be not afraid, only believe. And he suffered no man to follow him, save Peter, James, and John, the brother of James, to go to Jairus' house. Now that's telling me something about unbelief. You know, that sometimes uh, people have a tendency to run the, a particular situation the wrong way with their uh, influence, their attitude, their speaking, things of that nature. So, uh, you know, if you're dealing with a life-threatening situation, you might want to limit uh, the kind of people that you hang around with. It's, it's not about disease transfer. You know, it, it's about faith being weakened from being around certain people. He suffered no man to follow him, save Peter, James, and John, the brother of James. And he came to the house of the ruler of the synagogue and saw the tumult and them that wept and wailed greatly. Hallelujah. Now, now you, that's a little cultural picture. What they used to do was they would hire professional mourners when somebody died. And so they, they, they had already showed up. He was the ruler of the synagogue. They were outside wailing and putting on a show. Okay, that would have been exactly the kind of thing that Jesus, you know, wanted to uh, disperse because it would have an effect. The reason why they would be doing that is because they believed the girl was already dead. Okay, and he was about to raise her from the dead. It's just uh, a lot like Lazarus. Hallelujah. They, they, were, uh, they wept and they wailed greatly. Verse 39, when he was come in, he said to them, 
Why make you this ado and, and, and weep? The damsel is not dead, but sleeping. Now, you, you can hear where he was at. He was simply going to call her spirit back in her body. They laughed at him and to scorn. But when he put them all out, thank God for that, he took the father and the mother of the damsel and them that were with him and entered in where the damsel was lying. He took the damsel by the hand and said unto her, Talitha kumai, which is being interpreted, damsel, I say unto you, arise. Straightway the damsel arose and walked. She was about 12 years old, and they were astonished with great astonishment. He charged them straightly that no man should know it, and commanded that something be given her to eat. Now notice how Jesus was... Uh, Controlling the environment, so to speak, around this work of the Spirit. Okay, so we're, we're, we're uh, going to be doing the same thing here. Hallelujah. We're, we're, we're going to have an orderly means of laying hands on everybody. That's the reason why we do that. Praise the Lord. And then we're going to give God the glory for the results. Okay, so... Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So the word produces faith. This word is, you know, and there's two instances here. There's Jairus with his faith working. But then there's the woman with the issue of blood with her faith working. Okay, and in, in both of those situations, Jesus took extra measures to make sure that there wasn't anything that was going to tamper with their believing. Thank you, Lord Jesus. God is good. It's quiet in this Christian house. Okay, so I, I want to show you this word dunamis. If you would go with me over to Acts chapter 1. Praise the Lord. That's actually the name of the power. Hallelujah. And this is the one, it's, it's the tangible anointing. You, you want to get familiar with this. Uh, and I'm going to do a, a show you a little bit of a word study here tonight that will help you. There's a distinguishing line between what happened under the old covenant and what happened under the new covenant. So this is all what I'm t telling you, first of all, is the new covenant side. So Jesus had this on him. All right. So uh, he, he said, this is verse 8, Acts chapter 1, verse 8. He said, but you shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Now, you know, uh, he said it'll make you a witness, which it does. Okay, Holy Ghost power will make people a witness. Praise the Lord. But it, it was also the power by which Jesus cast out devils, sent healing to people's houses. He did that repetitively. Glory to God. So uh, he did that by dunamis power, and, and we're just going to call it what it is. The name of it is dunamis. All right, so uh, if you would please, going to ask you to go with me back to Malachi. Uh, hallelujah. There, there was a, there's a passage. This is going to help you. Malachi chapter 4, verse 2, it says, But unto you that fear my name, Shall the son of righteousness, sure sounds like Jesus, shall arise with healing in his wings. Now that word wings is talking about the outer rim of a person's garment. Hallelujah. All right. Healing in the wings. Okay. So healing uh, in, in that passage, he, he's not talking, it's not the same kind of power. Okay. Uh, that, that was Old Covenant. Uh, it's, it's a Hebrew thing. And uh, it's uh, talking about uh, almost like hospitalization type of uh, medical help. Not saying that's bad. But, but uh, so in other words, uh, the, under the Old Covenant, they didn't yet have knowledge of the tangible anointing the power of God, they, they didn't know about that because the Holy Ghost had not been loosed in his, his uh, current form of ministry. But, but you have the benefit of the Holy Ghost and in in, in most of you are filled with the Holy Ghost. 
Okay, if, if that's the case, just, yeah, raise your hand. You should, should be uh, blessed to be able to show people. I've got the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Okay, so we're, we're going to take a moment to lay hands on everybody in the room that would like to have hands laid on them. Now, what's going to happen, uh, this power that Jesus was talking about is the same power that we're operating by as a church body. We're going to lay hands on, on people. Mark 16, verse 15, Jesus said, you will lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Amen. Hallelujah. So, uh, yeah. So uh, what's going to happen is people, the condition of people's lives are going to be turned around and set on a different course. If I'm talking to you and you say, I would like to have hands laid on me tonight for that. I'm, I'm tired of being sick. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. If, if that's the case with you, go ahead and stand to your feet. Praise the Lord. God is good. Enough is enough. Praise the Lord. God is good. Now, uh, yeah, you, you can just go ahead and make your way up here to the front. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, gentlemen, for doing that. Sick and tired of being sick and tired. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> That's not original with me. That's one of my, my mentors. Hallelujah. God is good. Well, there's many more of you than I thought, but that's just as well. Glory to God. God is good. Okay, so what's going to happen is there's going to be a turnaround. Okay, and, and uh, this turnaround is going to affect your joyfulness. Okay, and, and you're going to uh, ha have a, a tendency to want to sort of hit the roof with joy. Every time we enter into worship, so it's going to affect the life of the church. Glory to God. Yeah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I'm glad that he's here tonight. You shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. You shall be witnesses unto me, Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. Now set yourself in a position to receive from him specifically. Okay. Hallelujah. And this is a turnaround anointing. Okay. A complete turnaround. Hallelujah. God is good. So, so uh, set yourself in a position to receive. Glory to God. God is good. Okay. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for healing power going into each person's heart and life in the mighty name of Jesus, affecting a perfect cure in Jesus' name. We thank you for that. We consider it done. That's right, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It'll be a turnaround so that what they say they expect to happen next. You, you heard the testimony of, of our scientist friend, okay? You know, uh, he went back for a, a confirmation Okay, and uh, they, they were shocked because they didn't expect what they saw. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yeah, you're kind of wet, moist. You're not hot, but you're moist. Is that part of the condition? Okay, well, we're saying that this thing is going to change, whatever it is. I have no idea what it is, but it, it's going to turn around. Okay, are you ready to receive that tonight? When you walk away from here, you'll be going in a better direction. You, you ready for that? Okay, Lord, okay, it's done. Thank you, Lord Jesus. God is good. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for your grace, your kindness, your mercy. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for healing power. Just exactly what you were endued with, we are now endued with from on high. Yes. Same power, same purpose, same accomplishment. You went about doing good, healing all that were oppressed of the devil. 
Shaka. Oh, see, she na raki. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, you're a little wet too. Hallelujah. Okay. Don't know what it is. Don't know if you know what it is. Hallelujah. Okay, well, you're healed. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Turn around. Complete turn around. That's right. Yeah. Hallelujah. It's dealt with. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. That's right. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for your power. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, for healing power flowing like water in the name of Jesus. When we lay hands on the sick, you move supernaturally to accomplish your purpose in people's lives, which we personally are not able to accomplish is your power, your ability. Thank you, Lord Jesus, in the name of Jesus. That's right. Glory to God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Complete turnaround. Thank you, Jesus. It's also the ill effects of sickness and disease. You know, it, it can bring things on people, like particularly this part of the year, it can bring depression on people where they, they just feel, you know, set back. Uh, so we're going to turn in everything around. It, the, everything is going to turn around, going back the other direction. There we go. Oh, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh. Oh. Hallelujah. Jesus. God is good. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You're a little warm, but you're not moist. Lord God, how are you? Ready for a turnaround? Yes. Are you willing to accept it? Yes. Okay. There we go. Hallelujah. God is good. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. That's right. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you for doing great things in people's lives tonight in the name of Jesus, the name that's above every name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, it's time for the fevers to be broken. Yeah, you're, you're, you're warm. You might not know that, but you are. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Well, it's a turnaround, and you're going to walk out of here. Everything is going to be completely different. Glory to the King. God is good. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. God is good. You know, sometimes there's a condition harboring in a person's body that they're not even aware of. And so, uh, hallelujah. Uh, all of those things are going to... Uh, Turn around. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good for you. Thank you, Jesus. God is good. Yeah, all abnormalities must function normally. It's a turnaround time in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God is good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's discernible power. Praise you, Jesus. That's right. God is good. Lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Turn around. Hallelujah. I believe God brought you here just for this purpose. Amen. I receive. Yeah. And, and for yourself yes, as well. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 
You don't look bad, but you can always do better, right? <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God is good. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. That's right. Discernible power. Tangible, discernible power. You ready? For, turn around. Bless you, Jesus. Glory to God. We're not, we're, we're not going to harbor any fugitive demons. We're casting them all out. Hallelujah. How are you? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Discernible power. Thank you, Lord Jesus. God is good. Hallelujah. You ready for a turnaround? Yeah, yeah, okay. I believe you. Hallelujah. That's, that's it. It's time to send all this back the other direction. Glory to God. That is, that's correct. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. That's right. Blessed be the name that is above every name. Hallelujah. God is good. That's right. Healing power, discernible healing power is changing your physical body, a new and a different outcome in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good. Thank you for being so patient. Hallelujah. Yeah, we've, we've been doing this for many years, but you know, the, uh, it's getting more. Hallelujah. God, so we're, we'll plan differently next time. Hallelujah. How are you? You ready for a turnaround? We're not going to, yeah, we're not going to let things continue as they have been. Okay, you ready for that? Okay. Hallelujah. How about you? Thank you, Jesus. God is good. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That's right. Blessed be the name that's above every name. It's discernible power. You can tell when it comes. Hallelujah. Don't lose it after you leave. You know, there, there's often an attack of the enemy. He tries to get you to talk your way out of it. Okay, but you're, you're not going to do that. You're, you're going to let the power hang around. Amen. Yeah, this is part of the New Testament. Yes. You shall receive power. Yes. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Yes. You, you shall be witnesses unto me, Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. You're getting ready to go to Africa with us. Hallelujah. Yeah, good for you. Hallelujah. How are you? Praise you, Jesus. Is that the first time you've ever had hands on laid on you for this? Yeah. That's what I thought. Hello. How are you? It's good. We're glad you're here tonight. Thank you, Lord Jesus. No, nothing about this condition that can't be turned around, right? right. You're willing to accept a complete turnaround. Yeah. You know, uh, I, I want to tell you a little quick testimony. That looks like almost exactly the same apparatus that a woman came into my office with, okay? And, and I told her that, you know, what's going to happen, she, she was diagnosed with cancer. But I told her that, uh, well, th this is the last time that you'll show up with one of those. Hello. And so she came the other night and she said, you know, I, I'm, I'm free. Hallelujah. You, you accept that? You receive that? 
Yeah, you, you need to be able to get around mobility. You know, you, you got kids looking to you in Uganda. About, it's about leadership. They love you and appreciate you, and they, and they want you see, to see you doing well. Amen. Glory to God. God is good. How are you? Good to see you. Yeah. Nice disposition. Praise the Lord. I don't get along with sickness and disease very well. I decided uh, years ago that I wasn't going to put up with it. <laughs> you neither? Me neither. I'm uh, okay. I'm oh, you're, you're sick and tired of being sick and tired. Yes. I'm sick of it. Yeah. Now, you, you, now, it hasn't been your whole life like this, has no. it? Yeah. Okay. I don't want to fight with it anymore. So, None of it. Yeah. So, so you're, you're recovering s strength and healing yes. part of your life that was stolen from you. Oh, God. Hallelujah. That's right. Hallelujah. How are you? Long Beach, California. I've been there. Glory to God. God is good. Hallelujah. Good to see you. Glad you're here tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Take that with you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Now, you're going to Africa, too, I understand. Yeah, well, good for you. We're going to have a powerful team and a powerful time. Hallelujah. Glad you're going. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And, and you're, you're going to experience a complete turnaround in your physical body. Hallelujah. Yeah, even things that you don't expect. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory to God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Why not? You know, we go for the whole Megillah. Hallelujah. Yeah, there we go. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> it's a joyful occasion Hallelujah. to get free. Here it goes. There it goes. Thank you, Jesus. Are you ready for this? Yeah, ready to walk away without it. Okay. All right. In the name of Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah, I don't make friends with sickness and disease. I'm hard to get along with. <laughs> when it comes around, I start bucking, kicking, making noise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How are you? It's good to see you. Thank you, Jesus. God is good. And yeah, it's, we're, we're calling it discernible power. Hallelujah. You're familiar with electricity. Yes, this is sort of like that. You heard the doctor's testimony uh, earlier. He said it was like electricity going into his body. It's different with different people. Hallelujah. Yeah, but you're, it's a complete turnaround. You're walking away without it. Thank you for serving and helping in sound. Yes. Glory to God. God is good. Don't know if anybody's ever told you that, but I, I just thought I'd say that to you. Thank you for participating. Thank you, Thank you Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. That's right. Complete turnaround. For, oh, your, your wife, okay? In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father, for a complete turnaround for Debbie. She's going to make a, yeah, a turnaround and come right out of this stronger and better than before. Live longer and stronger than she was even expecting. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father, strengthening my brother also and helping him physically. Thank you. 
Hallelujah. God is good. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. How are you, Leon? It's good to see you. Yeah. Uh. Now remember the woman with the issue of blood, all she did was grab the hem of, his, hem of his garment and it flowed out through his clothes and into her and it affected a perfect cure. Now she had been dealing with that for uh, a long time, spent a lot of money and things were not getting any better. Glory to God. Okay, so we, we received a turnaround here tonight. Glory to God. The Lord is good. That's right. New things happening. Praise the Lord. I'm going to ask everybody in the room if you would just stand to your feet. Glory to God. And we're, we're going to uh, have a moment here uh, confessing our faith. If you would say this with me. I believe in my heart that Jesus Christ is raised from the dead. Lord Jesus, I call you the Lord of glory. Lord Jesus, I also ask you, come into my life as my savior. Wash me in your precious blood. Cleanse me of all unrighteousness. I accept and receive your lordship into my life in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for making me whole. I bless you and give you glory in Jesus' name, amen. Glory to God, hallelujah.